Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red this uh, sunny morning, this warm sunny morning. Uh, Matthew chapter 26 and verse 11. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. So for you always have the poor with you, but you don't always have me. It's the words that Jesus used. And he's using these words in order to describe to, as it were, the faults of the people, the disciples, who have come up with this suggestion that this perfume anointed from this woman on his head was an inappropriate act. And he reveals as to why it is important. But he wants to address their thoughts that seem like it's a positive thing to bless the poor. But in fact, it's a misrepresentation of what is appropriate. And sometimes we can be deceived through guilt and shame to do the right thing for the wrong reason and the wrong and do the wrong thing for the right reason. So this deception of it could be right most of the time, but sometimes it's not. And then sometimes it's the opposite to that. And so this sense of knowing when something is appropriate and when something needs to be acted here or acted there. And the sensitivity connecting to yourself to wisdom is the only way you're really going to make the right choices when you have those difficult decisions to make. So he could have given that perfume to the poor and sold it and blessed, blessed them with some provision. But Jesus had a more important thing to do. And we'll come on to that. But the fact that Jesus knew what their thoughts were and felt the need to justify his perspective is an interesting thing in this story. And this ability to know the thoughts of the disciples is the gift of of um, discerning the spirit behind the person. So it's like a word of knowledge about someone and what they're thinking. And this gift Jesus used many times in the New Testament Gospels. And we ourselves as Christians have access to this gift, this gift of knowing what is operating inside a person. A person, the gift of knowledge, or if you like, connected to that is the gift of discernment, knowing what spirit someone is operating in, knowing their thoughts, knowing what's going on inside their heart. And this gift is a precious gift. We can read about it in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, but it's a gift that's worth inquiring about because it can assist us in our ministry to the world. Thank you for joining me. Be blessed. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.